Hello everyone, this is NR Trainman here. The moment we have all been waiting for has finally come. It is now officially 2021. Happy New Year everyone. We've got through 2020. I know it's been a very difficult year for all of us. There's been a lot of bad times and some good times. Um, it's definitely been a year. Uh, we'll be glad to see the back off. Um, with COVID, is, it has really basically destroyed our lives. Um, we've had to sacrifice a lot of things that we, we took for granted back in February of 2020. And then a month later, boom, it was all taken from us. Um, but it has been a really uh, tricky 2020. It's been very difficult for a lot of people. Um, we have had a few good moments uh, um, for myself. Uh, you know, we've had a few good moments. I managed to get a few trips in in between the restrictions, um, and following all guidelines while out. Um, we only got a handful of trips down to Dublin this year. That's the furthest I've actually gone. You know, this year. Normally, in a in a year, I would be either. Going to places like Cork and all that, Limerick, all over, all over um the Republic of Ireland, you know, and then across, you know, to places across the NIR system as well, and as well as doing some trips over to England and the mainland. But unfortunately, all that was taken this year, thanks to uh, COVID and the restrictions and lockdowns. But um. Finally, we've got through 2020, we're in a new year, let's hope 2021 will we'll see a large improvement um, and hopefully we'll be able to get our lives back to some sort of normal, uh, especially now with the um, COVID vaccines are now starting to be administered um, and starting to be rolled out across the UK and Ireland which is great news. So uh, it will take time, obviously, for the vaccines to be rolled out across uh, you know, enough of the population so restrictions can be lifted. Um, but hopefully, fingers crossed, say by the summer maybe, hopefully we'll be able to get back to some sort of normality. And uh, for myself, I hope um, I'll be able to get back to performing my, my duties with the RPSI. And hopefully we'll be able to resume mainline realtors. But it has been a very tricky year for uh, everyone. And even even on the railway uh, over here, we did receive some sad news. I don't know if any of you have heard of this yet, but um, I'm still waiting for the final confirmation that this is actually happening. But it looks like the Belmont Grand Hibernian has fallen victim to COVID. From what I'm from what I'm hearing from my sources, um, is that the Belmond will more likely, unfortunately, never run again in Ireland. It's a very sad loss because that was a nice train to see every week up here in Belfast, you know, and got a few shots of it as well when I was down south. But it's a very sad loss to see the Belmond going. Um, it was a shock. When I first heard, but obviously, like I said, I'm awaiting uh, the last bit of confirmation that uh, that that it's definitely gone. But um, it does look severely likely that it'll never run here again, unfortunately. So that's another local hold train gone, unfortunately. You know, and COVID has really made an impact on the railway. Um, service restrictions you know the dds uh, or the dtrix on the enterprise were temporarily withdrawn from service um they've came back and then went off again a couple of times it all depends on how nir and irish will decide to run the service but um as well it doesn't help that the passenger numbers are currently low that, that doesn't help you know but um, hopefully things will start to improve during 2021 and we'll be able to hopefully get our lives back to some sort of normal during the course of the year. Um, and 
hopefully, like I said earlier, hopefully we'll start to see uh, realtors running again. And uh, I'll be able to start to resume longer trips, you know, and get across to England and all that. Definitely. One thing that I'll, I'll be doing from now on is I will not be taking anything for granted. So I'll be making the most of anything. If I want to go somewhere, say somewhere in England that I want to visit, I'll be doing it. You know, don't take anything for granted now, folks, after after the year we've had. Um, so anyway, that is everything f for this video, folks. Um, once again, Happy New Year. Um, I hope you have an enjoyable and safe year. And uh, like I said, hopefully we'll start to get back to some sort of normal during the course of the year. Anyway, folks, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, take care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next video, folks. So, bye for now, and Happy New Year.